Hello students, welcome to my channel. In this class, I am going to teach you linearly dependent and a independent vectors. We will take here a special type of a problem. The question is prove that the subset A is equal to x sin x cos x of a Bf is linearly independent. Now prove let alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 be the scalars such that alpha 1 into x alpha 2 into sin x alpha 3 into cos x is equal to 0, this is equation 1. Differentiating equation 1 with respect to x. We get alpha 1 plus alpha 2 cos x minus alpha 3 sin x is equal to 0 this is equation 2 putting x is equal to 0 in equation 1 we get alpha 1 into 0, alpha 2 into sin 0, alpha 3 into cos 0 is equal to 0. This implies 0, this is 0 because sin 0 is 0, alpha 3 into 1 is equal to 0 because cos 0, because cos 0 is 1, implies alpha 3 is equal to 0. This is equation 3. Putting x is equal to pi by 2 in equation 2, we get we get alpha 1 plus alpha 2 cos pi by 2 minus alpha 3 sin pi by 2 is equal to 0. This implies alpha 1 here alpha 2 cos pi by 2 is 0 minus alpha 3 is 0 this is 1 is equal to 0 implies alpha 1 is equal to 0 this is equation 4 now putting x is equal to pi by 4 in equation 1 we get we get alpha 1 pi by 4 alpha 2 sin pi by 4 alpha 3 cos pi by 4 is equal to 0. Now, alpha 1 is 0 into pi by 4. Alpha 2 sin pi by 4, 1 by root 2. Alpha 3 is 0 into 1 by root 2. Cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. This is 0. This implies 
alpha 2 by root 2 is equal to 0 implies alpha 2 is equal to 0. This is equation 5. So alpha 1 is equal to alpha 2 is equal to alpha 3 is equal to 0. So here alpha 3 is equal to 0. Here alpha 1 is equal to 0. Alpha 2 is equal to 0. Hence the set S is linearly independent as all alphas are equals to 0. Proof. So, here the question is Prove that the subset S is equal to x sin x cos x of V of F is linearly independent. In order to prove, let alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3 be the scalars of that. Alpha 1 x plus alpha 2 sin x plus alpha 3 cos x is equal to 0. Now differentiating equation 1, we get alpha 1 plus alpha 2 cos x minus alpha 3 sin x is equal to 0 this is equation 2 now putting x is equal to 0 in equation 1 we get alpha 1 0 alpha 2 plus alpha 2 sin 0 plus alpha 3 cos 0 is equal to 0 simplifying we get alpha 3 is equal to 0 putting x is equal to pi by 2 in equation 2 and simplifying we get alpha 1 is equal to 0. Putting x is equal to pi by 4 in equation 1 and simplifying we get alpha 2 is equal to 0. Therefore all the scalars alpha 1 is equal to alpha 2 is equal to alpha 3 is equal to 0. Hence the set S is linearly independent as all alpha are equal to 0. With this the topic for today class is completed. I shall meet you with a new topic in my next class. Till then, goodbye.